Stephen Hendry, that's the only time I can remember that in a major final. Yes, it was uh, a thriller that night, and this has got the makings of being a thriller. <coughs> Terrific long pot, found the gap. Is he going to land on the brown or the yellow or even the green? He's on one of them. He'd like to be on the brown, but can he pass the green? He can. Five. Six. I love snooker. I wonder is he a Ronnie fan? Never know, might be saying that young boy playing in the Masters one year. I'm sure he's a 13. keen player as well as a keen follower of the game. Well, if he loves snooker, he'll be loving this match. That's for sure. But it's not all been about big breaks. We've seen some tremendous breaks from Mark Selby, but it's the close frames that have been so exciting. And not 14. until the last ball was dropped have you had any idea who was going to win it. And I've always said that about Snooker Dennis. Well, we've always said, haven't we, that if a frame isn't won by, by a big break, then you're always, it's going to unfold and have a little, unfold and have a little story of its own and the, the drama just builds. 22. A couple of loose reds. Just depends how he sees this. I mean, Ronnie normally would go into the cluster, try to bring lots of reds into play. He's got a perfect angle. Yeah. Into the gap would be good. Twenty-nine. Yes, and he found that gap. Just about get through to this. Now is he on the blue? He's perfect 13. on the blue. It started out the best of 19. We're now down to the best of five frames. Will it be the three times champion or last year's champion that lifts the beautiful trophy at the end of this final? 36. That's that trophy I mentioned. Beautiful Waterford crystal. Look well on the bonnet of your car, that John. Mm -hmm. I can't help ever look at that trophy without reminding myself of Paul Hunter. Yeah, he won it three times, didn't he? Absolutely incredible achievement that was from Paul, who is very, very sadly missed still in the game of snooker. And I think, Dennis, I might be wrong, but I think he was the last person to defend Fourth this title. 43. Which, of course, Mark Selby's attempting to do this evening. We'll be fearing the worst this frame. Ronnie's in perfect position. Fifty. These two stars are blue, and he's frightened that he just catches the red, but he's so good with his left hand. 59. <laughs> OK, he's got the green, and he doesn't have to do a lot with the cue ball because of the situation of that red near the right middle. 
62. 63. There's blue to go 68 points in front with 67 remaining. Well, winning that 68. last frame really has spurred Ronnie O'Sullivan on. The frame is safe. If he gets the cannon on the reds, a possible century on. So Will that do, four. Dennis? <laughs> he only left, only left himself on all four reds with that split. Eighty-two. He has made 558 centuries in his career. He's the closest to Stephen Hendry's record, who's just over 700. 90. This will be his eighth of this year's Masters. 91. And I think it's the 31st which has beaten the record of 26 centuries two seasons ago. 98. He's already broken Stephen Hendry's record of centuries at the Masters. 99. Fantastic. <laughs> 105. 107. Nice to see him play a little exhibition shot there. Off the last colour. 110. Now, how are you going to get on the blue, Ron? He's not going to get on the blue, but he's not really bothered about that. That was a magnificent century break.